Yo, welcome back to more Angel Beats episode 3. Last time was great because super hilarious. The whole sequence leading to them going to the big factory where they make all the crazy weapons and guns because they can conceptualize it so they can make it out of like anything, like even dirt because they can like picture like what it is. But when, like, come, when it comes to like a crazy tank, it just blows up. Um, so that was cool. And yeah, just the whole sequence was hilarious. But then the shift... From that to Otonoshi and Yuri, and Yuri talking about her, basically her very tragic backstory, right? And and of course it's super sad, you know, that kind of thing just very much gets me just because it's a very real thing, even that I fear, right? Just that very real chaos that can just happen to you or your family, like that kind of thing, right? It's just like, fuck, you know? And so we see that and, you know, for the show to do that without tonal whiplash, of course, props. And like some of y'all mentioned as well, like, yeah, major props for that. I can only think of a handful of shows that um that have done that. Because, you know, I like feels and I also like to laugh and just enjoy watching something. When a show gives me both, I can just, you know, have kind of just some mindless good time watching. But also, like, internalize all this shit going on you know, on an emotional level. Even it's like, damn, you know, so gotta appreciate that so that made me like uh yuri's character a lot i wasn't entirely sure on her from the first episode i was even kind of suspecting her like what's going on with you right what's going on between you and angel like who's really like what's going on here but uh that made me really um really like her right and and through that tragic past we see her determination we see her striving to be the leader for these people why she doesn't want to accept um death here or to accept defeat to Angel, even if on a level they can't like kill each other, right? They can't really kill Angel or vice versa. So on on some level, while it would be like, well, this is kind of pointless, it's that defiance, right? It means everything to her, right? And also to these people who are on, you know, her side, who who also feel the same way and, and need that, you know. Otherwise, they might be lost here and maybe become another NPC. Like, who knows? So yeah, shout out to Yuri Otonoshi tackling. Angel out the way when she was about to get hit by Angel. Angel falling into the explosion, kind of very stoically the whole time, just enduring the traps and everything. And another shout out to the Patreon comments, to Knit and all, and you said it best. It's like her found family for Yuri, right? And we saw that like in the ending, like the ending lyrics we saw, it was like there was a, 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 some hope there, right? This She was t talking about her pain and her loneliness and, and there's, but there, like a de with a degree of acceptance, and you know you see everyone popping in around her and so it's like despite everything her carrying forward and being able to do that with all these people around her and with that determined yeah i like that shit man this show is interesting it's unique and definitely tell so and i, I know a lot of y'all hold this show dear to you either as like one of your first anime or just one that left a, a huge impression on you like emotionally like that's awesome and i'm sure at the very least i'll enjoy it very much so yeah Let's continue. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Ah, yes. Hit me with that opening. Turn it up. Turn it up. Still not loud enough. Still not loud enough. It is interesting that Angel is the one playing. And shout out to the band. Ah, oh, man, when it kicks in. Such a good build up to that. Teachers building. 
principal's office. Guitar. Nice. Mm. Right, that's what they did last time. Hell yeah. Still people, man. Still jamming. A ballad. Gotta rock out again. All right. Next operation, infiltrating Angel's domain. Hmm. Ooh, got him. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's wearing glasses. Competition. How long was he hiding back there? Nice bowl cut. Oh shit. Is he doing pie? Oh shit. Why is that working? <laughs> yeah, it's pie. The fuck? Notice a moron. Make him stop. Oh my god. He's still going. He's still going. A hacker. Okay. Takeyama. <laughs> Christ. Jesus. Damn. Oh yeah, that's a good question. What's her lair? Ah, makes sense. <laughs> Gurren Lagan. <laughs> Good chance and luck. The fucking cuts from the music, man. That's so good. Reminds me out of Konosuba used the uh, sudden silence very well as well. My song. Okay. Wonder if we'll get more from that girl. She wanted to do something slower like a ballad, but got shot down. Guess not. Look at him getting the target practice. Alright, so he's acclimating. I wonder when he'll remember some more stuff. I guess ultimately that doesn't really matter. Still gotta deal with stuff here, but, you know. Oh my god. Is she voiced by the one? Huh. Is she voiced by the, the voice actress who voices Maioi? If so, this is hilarious. And I'm going to need Otonochi to relax. Hmm. 
Hmm. Demo or Gee Demo? Oh. She's fangirling. Crow song. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh my god. This girl is wild. All right. <laughs> That's the character. Some interesting people around here. Ah, practice. Here we go. Oh, damn. And it's her again. Hmm. Yeah, that girl was going crazy. She's very good. She sounds familiar to me, too. Damn, I wish I was better at recognizing Sayu. Couldn't sing my beloved songs. Oh my god. Mm. Jesus. Mm. That's why music is amazing, man. I know so many people who music saved, man. It is insane. Yo. The way she looked, that's how it feels. That's how that shit feels, yeah. I like that line. I like that line. <laughs> Snap back. There it is. That's amazing, man. I wonder how she died, man. God, I'm going to end up loving every character in this show if we keep getting these. She found it. Oh, my God. That's fate. Hmm. She really pursued the music thing. But then, what happens? That's what she was going to do. What happened? Wait, what? Wait, what? She's sick? What happened? Oh my god. Wait. What the fuck? Oh my god. What? Jesus Christ. She couldn't sing her beloved songs. And she died that way. Holy fuck. We're getting bored here. All right, see ya. Oh my god, dude.
Like, of course, overall, I'm wondering how Otonoshi died, but man, all these, like... Just like Yuri. It is unfair. Defy God, and I... Hell yeah, dude. They're fighting back. I like that shit. I like that. That's amazing. You got me, show. You got me. Three episodes. You got me. Angel. Uh oh. Turn it down for the NPCs. It's like I'm the bad guy. All right. I'll take that. All right. They're about to do it. It's not a lot from Angel right now, but I'll take that. It's like I'm the bad guy. Yes. Your special seat. And in this purgatory, she gets to be her musician self again. Not in that bed. Not suffering the way she did how it ended. She woke up here and was able to play again. Mm. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Angel's domain. Please call me Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> Just going through a girl's room. The girl's dorm. Jesus. There's just a laptop. Alright, come on, pro hacker. What you got? Yeah, what you got? Okay, plugging in. Break the code. Mmm. Analysis. Whoa. He said, Udasai. Guy's so violent. I want to know, like, everyone's story now, dude. Hmm. Oh, okay. Busting out the big hits. Let's go. And I love that they have known hits here. That she's been able to do this with their band. If you live forever, and I guess you technically do here. This is tight. Oh, man. You know she wrote that from her heart. Oh, God. The Matrix is fighting back. Oh, wait. Nope. It's just her. Come on. Rock harder. Our power. Let's go. Come on. All right. Back to hacking. Quickly, you say. Okay. Call me Christ. I keep forgetting.
all the data an hour. Also call me. Uh. Christ Odessa. <laughs> All the students. It's just the school roster. Oh my god. Now I wish I didn't see that. Probably because there's nothing to find in here. <laughs> That will help you like that. Angels is just doing what Angel does. Like, oh God. Oh no. Not that. Damn. <laughs> Good shit. Play the ballad. Play the ba She went to the light room. Ah, and where the board is as well, of course. Ah, here it is. The song she wanted to play. Yeah. God damn it, man. To sing like this. Oh, man. True musician. Stop. You're going to get me. That was so close to. Holy shit. And she collapsed. Wait, what? Did she pass on? She was able to move on because of that.
Mm. Yeah, not from God. The same method as them. So, yeah, let's talk about this, please. She moved on. That's what it was. Yeah. She accepted her fate. And that's what obliteration is. Wow. Wow, man. That gave me some chills. Shit. Why did I watch this show sooner, man? What is wrong with me? This is so up my alley. I can't believe how beautiful this episode was. What a good anime. This doesn't happen often when I watch shows. In fact, this hasn't, this kind of feeling I have now, I haven't felt anything close to it since I finished March. March comes in like a lion, which is probably the most beautiful thing I've ever watched. And, but this like scratches that itch for me in such a, in such a unique and beautiful way. Like this, this show is beautiful. We're only f a few episodes deep, but you can already tell just what it is it's so like so fucking good man i guess to put it into words so i'm not just like wow holy shit this is so good over and over i'll do that mostly but i guess you know to talk about why i feel that way is because you know like with yuri before just the way her story was told the relatable aspects of it like music music saving her life like to for me to personally relate to that for, for me to know so many people who also feel that way i used to do the songwriting thing a lot you know put out a an ep and a, a whole bunch of songs and you know met a bunch of musicians so you know the catharsis of not only just internalizing music and just the way it was visually depicted within her of just like all the flashing colors and just every like everything like that's how it feels man when you hear something and it just like just ignites just so much in your brain it, and just everything like the chills that run through your like that's just how it feels man and then that moment where you snap back and it's like holy fuck you know i've never seen that visually like that because that's what you know that's what it is that's so crazy so you know there's that level of it you know me understanding the, cathar the catharsis but also coupled of like why i, I Bell yuri's situation like was so viscerally even on the parts i can't relate to obviously you know people breaking into Yuri's house and doing what they did and killing her siblings like that's some you know hardcore shit but for Iwasawa to to pursue her dream as a songwriter to and we see at the very end for, for when she accepted her fate in in light of her goal to to save someone like she was saved because that is the that right there 
Fine, I'm getting emotional just talking about it. Fine, all right. That right there is just the ultimate musician goal, right? To do that for someone else, what that did for you. God, I need to, I need to relax. So just, just that is such a beautiful thing. Her being able to play the song she wanted to play, right? This ballad, right? That, that she clearly wrote from her heart that she got the moment to do that ended in that, I guess, closure for her. She was obliterated. That's what obliteration is. To accept your fate. And I suppose to move on. And I guess that's why the defiance is so important. Because accept your fate almost sounds like it almost denies the, the, the flip side of that also being a beautiful thing. Like it's bittersweet, of course. Like she is moved on to a point where, you know, who knows whether that's oblivion or whatever it is. The bittersweetness of, of ceasing to be in a space where she could do this again. As I didn't even talk about before. Her chasing that goal, wanting to do that for someone. And then getting that sickness she got from the head trauma she got from her parents fighting. Like her, like literally her childhood trauma broken home killed her. She couldn't speak, she couldn't do music, and she died that way. Like, fuck, man. Like, that was, and that was the part I was saying, just like with Yuri's thing, just the, the realness of that and just the the unfairness. Because it, it said it better than I, I... That's pretty much what I'm saying. The unfairness of that, that chaos, that it's just... People don't deserve that, man. And I, I feel like... What you encounter this is kind of on a tangent but just to say real quick i feel like a lot of people trying to rationalize things happening to people by whether they admit it or not by coming up with the reason of why they would deserve it right like on in an extreme sense it could be like oh they're not christian or in another sense it could be like oh they're breaking the law so they deserve to have that happen to you know that that kind of shit just like i guess the, the just world fallacy is is what it's called but that shit always pisses me off but because yeah that's shit happens man and it fucking sucks and that's what happened to these people here probably to most if not all of them who are here right and i and it almost makes me wonder if them being here that's the criteria and I don't know because I imagine most people die with certain wants of course still in their heart but I'm, I'm of course like I'm sure 99% of people aren't ready to die when they die no nobody wants to die like everyone I'm sure unless you're you just live a extremely long life if you're so lucky right but even then you know that idea mortal mortality is scary man and no one is ready for that because no one knows what that even means in the end, right? So it's easy to imagine most people die that way, not being able to accept what's happened to them. This this want to continue to do what they did before in defiance of the unfairness of it and to exist in this space in the meantime, right? I guess until they accept that and to be obliterated. Like the fact that we learned that that's what being obliterated is adds a whole new like side to it, a whole new like understanding there right and even angel herself saying this episode it's like i'm the bad guy like it's just even of course that's a hint of just like how she sees herself and i guess her perception of how like they treat her and what's going on like she doesn't we haven't she hasn't said anything since the first episode so i've been you know wanting that insight but i think that's really obviously really clear but yeah that was a that was a beautiful way to resolve that for Iwasawa in in an extremely bittersweet way I want to say more I don't even want to say bittersweet it's just beautiful in every sense of the word in every like tragic meaning in every like acceptance of that like just just in every way just that whole thing her playing what led to the ballad uh, first her story then her playing then what led to the ballad and then after that when in her in her mind as she's saying those kinds of things 10 out of 10, man. And of course, Yuri already knew what that meant. Like, she got obliterated. She accepted her fate. Nothing, nothing more than that. And she couldn't, she couldn't face them when she said that. Because we know she lives it to defy that. 
she doesn't want to move on. She doesn't want to accept that, right? And and I don't know. Maybe by the end she will. Maybe so will Otanoshi when he remembers how he died or remembers what happened. I don't know. You know who's who's to say what they should do. You know the way they died is unfair. The way their lives went are unfair, and and most of the time it is right. A lot of people are lucky, but a lot of people are very unlucky as well. And, and we see the cases here. So what does that mean now? Do they take the agency? I mean, clearly as Yuri is to defy it. Or do they make the effort to accept it? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I can see I can see why someone would want to accept and move forward. And I can see why. They wouldn't. I probably understand more why they wouldn't because that's a more like understandable idea is to be obliterated to cease. It's like a second death, right? In 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 the case of like how the show is depicting this, right? So I can understand that, but you can see both, you know, and it's um it's an interesting idea going forward for how other characters might deal with this. And uh, you know, of course Yuri herself, Otonoshi and everyone, right? And I hope we get this characterization for um, many more characters because they got me, man. <laughs> they got me, you know? That's not even mentioning, of course, the funny moments in this episode as well. Like, shout out to Christ Kid. So, so random, but shout out to that guy. That was pretty good. And um, the one girl Tonoshi ran into who was fangirling over Iwasawa and the band as well. Um, yeah, so, you know, if, if anyone, you know, she certainly maybe saved her in that way to to give her like to give her that feeling when you know when she listened to iwasawa there you know that you know the smaller pink hair girl is she voiced by the girl who voices mayoi if so that's hilarious but i feel like i recognize her voice i don't know i get that feeling with a lot of voice actors and then i don't know any other roles they did so i never know but that that specifically would be funny because of who plays otonoshi but uh, regardless, um, I was so close to just, it was about to, uh, just pour out of me, but it's a little harder to, harder these days. Not that I'm like keeping it, keeping myself closed off. It's just, I still felt this uh, a lot though. And it was like, I already know this show is going to, it's probably going to break me. <laughs> so I don't get that feeling often with shows. Like I find appreciation in 99% of the things I watch and play and I find things to latch on to that I like and I just you know I have fun but it's just this is special man this is special I want to say this we got to obviously like Violet Evergarden like this we're only three episodes in Angel Beats but this is I can this is already on that list and even if like the rest of the show is trash which I know it won't be even like even this episode will like stay with me but I'm sure I haven't seen nothing yet whatever that means but um this was something this was great so yeah that's it um thank you for watching if you're seeing this on youtube i do i'm doing early access to angel beats so if you want to see my reactions up to episode six that is up on my patreon and the, the link in the description for five dollars if you want to get instant early access to those or check out all the other things to do early access to that's there but otherwise thank you again for watching and i'll see you next time Peace.